when I was in Australia about 15 years ago, you know, they do a thing called shaking the stick. I was out of Ayers Rock area. It's a big, big uh, red rock. It's more red than the sunset. And an Aborigine, I walked into an area and I shouldn't be there. And the short story of it is, he had a, a stick that he picked up. And he started shaking the stick at me. And they say, if, if they shake the stick at you, you die very shortly of really terrible things. And I knew, I knew what he was doing. I knew the whole thing. So I reached down, pick up a stick, and started shaking it back at him. <laughs> he believed in it more than I did, and he really got upset. Really, really. And so, in the course of our conversation, which was not really too good because it seemed like I couldn't speak Aborigine and he couldn't speak American. But what, the, way you, the way you break the spell, you have to take the stick that they shook at you and you have to break it. Then you shove the both broken pieces down in the dirt beside you. And then that breaks the spell. So I didn't know that. But he, you know, he, you know, it's like, you do what I do, you know. And I was going like, <laughs> with the stick in my hand. And he's going, no, 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 no. Like, move, the, move, the, move the stick away. <laughs> so he, he took his stick, and he pointed it in the air, and then he pointed it at the ground, then he took it and broke it. Well, now, this guy looked real skinny and didn't look like he could break anything, but he broke that that willow stick, and then he shoved it in the ground by him. And then he went. <laughs> and I didn't know whether to give him a hand or what. <laughs> so I took the stick and pointed it in the air and tried to break it, and I couldn't, so I had to break it over my knee. <laughs> yeah. You know, I don't like to tell people a lot of these things because they're so dumb and stupid, but you know, life is like that, especially mine. And then he, then he sort of went something like, like a bow down, but it, I didn't quite see it because I was trying to emulate him like he was going to do like this, so I, I did like this, and then I looked up and he sort of had his hands apart. So I, I took mine apart and stood back up and he just went like this and split. <laughs> and so I looked like this and I just stood there because I didn't have anywhere to split to. I just walked back to the room, and I asked one of the bartenders that were in the little thing, I said, uh, what is it when an aborigine shakes a stick at you? If they shake a stick at you, you're as good as goner. You're dead. And I said, well, I met this guy outside there over by the other side. He says, that's forbidden territory. He says, that's aborigine. That's sacred and holy. So I I'm surprised they didn't kill you. I said, well, a guy came up and shook a stick at me. He said, well, they killed you. He said, well, what happened? So I told him the whole thing in the ground, and he says, well, not too many people know it, but that's how you break the curse of the shaking of the stick. <laughs> Point is there is no matter what on God's earth you have to do to change things to your positive, you do them. There was no harm to anyone. It could have been harm to me. It could, could have been harm to the guy if he believed that what I did would do something to him. Now listen, all I was doing was just emulating my role model. Because I didn't know that that didn't mean from him, welcome, come over and I'll show you the paintings. <laughs> Which I did get to see. I was taken in there. And it's, it's just interesting that you have to be up to whatever you're doing. You have to be up for it. You have to be up for grace if you're going to have grace. You have to be up for it. You've got to continue to keep bringing yourself up for it. If you go, well, I came up for it and I didn't get it, bring yourself up for it. <coughs> bring yourself up for it. I am depressed. No, bring yourself up for it. I don't care what you are. Bring yourself up for it. All the time. Every time. All the time. Every time. Are there any excuses or exceptions? When Jesus returns, you can bow out. 